Question number 432. What would you do if you fell out of a plane without a parachute? You're falling at 125 miles per hour. You have one to two minutes to act. Look for water. It won't feel good, but you may survive. Treetops are good. A man actually survived by landing in treetops and snow. If you don't see water or trees, try a dumpster full of trash. The roof of an RV or mobile home is another possibility. These structures break and absorb some of the energy. It feels good to know how stuff works. Question number 726. How does a submarine dive and surface? Why does a bubble float? Because the air in the bubble is lighter than water. A submarine is a bubble that is adjustable. If you can control the weight of the bubble, you can sink or float at will. Ballast tanks are the key. You can fill them up with water or air. When they're filled with air, the sub is light and floats. When they're filled with water, the sub is heavier and sinks. It feels good to know how stuff works. Question number 249. What if you were on an elevator and the cable broke? A typical elevator has eight cables, so if one cable broke, you would be fine. If all the cables snapped, safeties would grab the elevator rails. If the safeties failed, then you have a problem. Jumping doesn't help. If the elevator is falling at 50 miles per hour, then you are too. Your best bet, lie flat on the floor. This spreads out the force of impact across your body. Learn more at HowStuffWorks.com because it feels good to know.